Hey, it's Harriet here, and I'm reviewing the tip-top breakaway book of lockdown so far for me, Killing Commendatore, by the allegedly sensational Japanese author Haruki Murakami, who grew famous writing about the tender melancholy of youth, Norwegian wood, which apparently, according to the Washington Post article, made him so recognizable in Japan that he left. I have not read any of his other 14 books, and this is my first encounter with the mighty Murakami. The style is, mm, how do you say, sort of very simple writing. Apparently this is intentional, which is why Murakami writes in English his second language to intensify, I think, the forensic creation of what I have to say is extraordinary detail, which I love. I knew in advance that rarely are folks ambivalent about this author. Quotes like, reading the works of uh, Haruki Murakami is a little like biting into a piece of dark chocolate, immensely and richly satisfying. Or, Clumsy sex scenes, ugly confused fantasies make this book a contender for the worst work of senseless meandering fiction ever written. Well, the plot. The narrator of Killing Comendadore is a 36-year-old painter. His wife has just left him and as a portraitist who should have in his own mind being a great freelance uh, freestyle artist, leaves his Tokyo apartment to paint whatever he wishes. A friend from art school lends him a remote house in the mountains and he awaits inspiration. But all of this is interrupted by a series of bizarre episodes and totally surreal incidents. The narrator's new residence once belonged to a famous painter whose extraordinary picture of a sword fight called Killing Commentantore remains in the attic. Soon after finding the painting, the house's new inhabitant begins to hear the clear sound of a bell emanating from a strange circular pit in the woods. These events disturb him greatly, but also combined, they propel him to new dizzy heights of amazing painting power. One of his new portraits is a very wealthy and quite sort of weird or unusual man, a menshiki, who lives nearby and totally captures his painter's imagination and sense of secrets and mystery. It is menshiki who manages the excavation of the pit and oh my, what is discovered, I understand, is vintage Murakami and totally bizarre. What really resonates with me about this book and thus the power of reading Killing Commendantore during lockdown is is the total reinforcement of the courage not to fear a change in one's lifestyle. The importance, as I have right now, of having time on one side. Nothing we invent could be as strange as life itself and to yield up to this. I also personally love the simplicity and the power of this writer's choice of words. So I really hope you enjoy.